Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a Mitsubishi electric heat pump. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. That is a beautiful view of downtown Manhattan here in New York City. It's a nice cold day out here. Anyways, if you guys remember these units, yep, this is the same place. This is the Mitsubishi City multi-unit where last time we had an issue with the indoor temperature detection. Okay, well, we got the issue with indoor temperature detection for these units as well. There is a difference. I will leave a link in this video's description. Changing the indoor temperature detection for a system that has an outdoor unit, which is a city multi-unit, is completely different than one of these units which is a puz series which is interesting because they have the same indoor units but because we have a different outdoor unit changing those settings are different for this one we had to do it through the indoor board okay for each blower but from what i remember these are done through the thermostat so check out this video because that's important when you run into that situation and let's see how i'm going to change it for this one i believe it's through the thermostat because i've done something like this similar and i guess we'll see what happens but here we go guys i think it's the same dude who installed these look at this i don't look right what the heck <laughs> what is going on here man this don't look right this don't look right man something something looks weird man what the look at these pipes wow 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 anyways <laughs> let's get in the room all right here we are at our mitsubishi thermostat this is model number par 40 maau which is the same thermostat as the other one for the mitsubishi multi-unit but to change the settings should be different here so the room is set to is currently saying it's at 72 but we really have 80 degrees so when they set it a little bit warmer it's really hot so they have to set this room to like in the 60s just to get some kind of decent temperature so let's look into this and see how we can get into the settings for this style of unit here in the ceiling we have one indoor unit so it's one condensing unit one outdoor unit and one indoor unit the problem is the electrical cover is missing look at this wire all right, look at that wire coming in through. So this is the thermostat wire, that right there. What's that? That's our communication wires, the three? S1, S2, S3, I mean, whatever. Uh, this thing is a mess. So it looks like we're getting power and communication from the roof. And we have this little thermostat cable here. They don't use no knockouts, no grommets, whatever. Thing is, I don't know what model this is. This board is a little bit different than the other one. It's the same style of indoor blower, but it's a different, it's a different unit. The only thing identical is the thermostats, but what's different is how you change temperature. So anyways, let's see what's going on. Uh, it, it's really unfortunate. I looked everywhere for this cover, but I can't get to the, you know, I, I can't get the proper information from this unit if I don't know what unit this is. We're gonna start with turning this unit off. We're gonna click this button here, the on and off. All right. Everything just stopped. And we're gonna get into the settings like this. All right, so let's start with changing the indoor temperature detection at the thermostat. And that's for this style of unit. Other units have different options, but this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna click menu. So you see we have operation. We're gonna scroll all the way to the right to here. So this is menu here, timer, energy saving, initial setting, maintenance, service. We're gonna click hold, we're gonna click okay, select for service, select. They're gonna ask for a maintenance password and the standard default is 9999. So let's change that. nine 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 we're gonna click select 
Now we're in the service menu. We're gonna to wanna to scroll down to settings, select and function settings. This is the key here. Now we're in the function settings. Reference address, we're gonna let that be. And it's gonna show you unit numbers as GRP, one, two, three, four, and all. So as far as indoor temperature detection, you're gonna want it on GRP and click select. We're now collecting data. We're gonna to need to change the settings on mode two and I wanna show you a picture of what you're looking for. If you look at mode two, number one is highlighted, okay? So if I'm looking on my phone here, it says, so number two is thermistor selection, which is gonna be your indoor temperature detection. You're gonna choose where you're reading temperature. You have three options. Number one, it says the average temperature reading of the indoor units in operation. There's only one indoor unit. So what average, that is very strange. Then a lot of times um, I see it at number two, where it's reading temperature. It says thermistor on the indoor unit to which the remote controller is connected. So there's a thermistor, there's a return air uh, thermistor inside the unit and it says reading temperature. But the, the problem is with a lot of these units, just like I, I saw here, I could even hear it. There's huge holes. Let me see, I gotta get a light over there. But let me see, there's a huge hole right there. So you're not getting proper temperature because you get this draft. So it's a lot colder in the ceiling than it is actually in the room. So that's why the temperature is so offset. So it might say like 70 degrees or something on the temperature inside, but it's more like 80 degrees. So mode two, we're gonna wanna go in there and you're gonna wanna change the setting. So let me just explain to you what setting you're gonna want. So you're gonna wanna set mode two to number three, which is the built-in sensor on the remote controller. This is your remote controller. So mode two, you're gonna go to three and you're gonna click select. There you go. Now you're reading temperature at the remote controller right here. Another thing that happens here is that just because now that we have temperature reading here, what happens is the supply fan actually, once it reaches temperature, it stays on and there's still like residual heat or residual cooling. So you're gonna make the place colder or hotter depending on the setting. So there's another thing you're gonna wanna do. So it's weird, even though you have your fan in auto mode, it still runs. You know, in any other normal, quote unquote normal system, when the fan is in auto, once it reaches temperature, the fan shuts off, but not with these Mitsubishi units. And there's different methods for every style of unit. Why did they do that? Oh God, only Lord knows. So we're gonna click return. And this time, not group GRP, we're gonna go, oops, sorry, I'm changing the, <laughs> changing the reference address. We're gonna go down and we're gonna click all for the unit number, we're gonna click select. Let's collect the data. And we're gonna to wanna to change settings 25 and 27. So we're gonna go, let's start with 25. 25 is set to one. So I'm gonna show you guys a picture exactly what that means. So 25 over here, it says the fan speed setting after set point has been met in heat mode. So 25 is for heat mode. Setting number one right now, the fan stays in uh, something called extra low. Number two would be to stop it. And number three would be the controller, the current controller setting. We're gonna wanna stop it. So mode 25, we're gonna go to two. Click select. Okay. Now that's gonna be done. Now let's go down to 27. 27. 27 is also on one. Let's see, let me look at my notes over here. The screenshots found us off the Myling Dry website, Mitsubishi's actual website.
for 27 so this is the fan speed setting after set point has been met in cool mode it says number set it's set to one which is the current controller setting whatever it's always stills runs two would be to stop it three would be extra low but for specific model so we're gonna go with number two mode 27 two select now at this moment we are reading temperature at the thermostat the temperature controller right here in front of us now also in heat mode and cool mode the fan will stop once the temperature is met all right so i set the unit to heat it says the room temperature is 74 degrees and on my thermometer i am reading 73 so that is pretty close i'm just going to test and heat make sure when it's running see what kind of temperatures we got in the room temperature versus my thermometer but we should be good now and the next thing will be just to make sure that the fan actually stops and that's pretty much it unit now is working like a charm we're gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time